Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8-Bit Eric. If there's one thing that I like, but I'm not good at, it's bullet hell shooters. So today we're going to check one out called Ghostblade HD. And I believe this also was previously on the Wii U. It has a cute anime-ish kawaii type of look with these girls. We got a couple modes. We got two player game, one player, your training, score attack. There's online global leaderboards as well. But look at these cuties. These are like the anime slutty Powerpuff girls if you think about it. You got the green girl, the red girl, purple girl uh i think i'm gonna go with the red girl my favorite color is red <laughs> we're gonna play normal and let's try it out this is pretty insane i played a round of it you get to continue like three times in one go um and then you get placed like on a local and global leaderboard so here we go you can see just right from the beginning it's going to uh pick up the pace and look really really good so you have a basic attack with a and then y kind of like does like a centered attack uh, you move faster with the A attack. The center attack moves a little bit slower, but it is handy when trying to attack enemies. You can see these bullets are going to be flying everywhere, hence the name of Bullet Hell. Um, the idea is to destroy the enemy as soon as possible so that you don't have to have so much stuff to avoid on the screen. Uh, there's also achievements. You'll see them pop up in the top right periodically as I play this game. I, for one, am a big fan of stuff like this. I'm not necessarily the best when it comes to games like this, but I enjoy them. Oh, you also have a bomb attack, for D, so pretty standard stuff. Uh, very arcade-like, which is what I dig. Uh, I think the graphics look nice, too. Uh, I like the way the, the sprites are. It's like 3D polygons. So not too bad. The music looks cool. So check this out. Stuff everywhere. The idea is just to, to get rid of the guy so you have room. See, so I survived that wave. <laughs> a little nervous, but uh, I'm not doing too bad. I'm actually doing better than my first go around, which is pretty good. Sometimes it gets really hectic trying to see exactly what is shooting you and what to avoid and stuff, but we made it. We made it to the boss. It's a. Uh, but, oh, first death. Okay, so we're fine. We got our power up the back. Let's, let's focus on destroying his side cannons. He has side cannons, as you can see. Um, oh, man. Things get a little hairy here, for sure. There we go. We got one side cannon gone. So he's uh, going to be weaker. Oh, man. <laughs> it's kind of... There we go. We got it. I think we're going to do it. We died twice, but decent shape so let's look at my bonus total so we got a crap load of points from that 289 million total which is hidden by this camera there's, there's like a final score in the bottom bottom top left but not bad for a first stage honestly pretty impressed when i played through it earlier i was like wow i'm actually kind of digging ultra hd what caught me again is that i grew up playing a lot of stuff like this um games that are very arcade like in their gameplay mechanics and stuff that you can just pick up and play and just try to get a score attack and stuff i'm a big fan of that i, I like short burst type of games that don't take long to set up not much dialogue um just have that feel of an old school game and this totally has it um and i'm new to this if this is a series i'm definitely new to this series so i'm glad when i uh looked up the game's information oh man i just died I ran into it and I was like, yo, I got to check this game out. So, pretty impressed. I, I, I do think the, the shoot 'em up and bullet hell genre on the Switch is pretty impressive. They are bringing a, bu a bunch of, like, old arcade games on it and stuff. And then there's also indie titles being made in the same genre. And games of all kinds from all sorts of publishers and stuff. So, the bullet hell genre is alive and well on the Nintendo Switch and Ultra HD Ultra Guard HD, or whatever this game is called, uh, is another one to add to us. I know this one came out in the fall, so I am playing it a little late in 2020, but hey, better late than never, right? Uh, and that's that's the thing about the eShop, is there's so many games that come out that it's easy to miss games. Like, this one flew under my radar for sure, and when I just started to play it now, I was like, oh man, I have to show it off and, and talk about it just in case there's anybody else that's a fan like me of, of stuff like this that wants to pick it up and check it out. 
so not too bad. I mean, just look at this. Look at this action. This is the music. This is awesome. I'm surprised I, I, I went through all that just now. <laughs> I got a 15, 16 hit combo going on right now. Oh my gosh, look at this. Whoa, did you see all that? Jesus. Pretty intense, guys. the way. Not too bad. I think we got it. Oof. Goodness gracious. So we're going to continue. Continue on. So you get three continues and then your turn is completely over. So it's like you had three, three quarters or, or a dollar or something. A dollar fifteen. However much arcade games like this would cost. I'm assuming since this would have been a quarter muncher, it would have at least been 50 cents, so. As long as you're able to continue in the arcades, right? You can beat anything. It's just a matter of how how rich you are. <laughs> but uh, I do like that this does have a pretty authentic arcade experience when it comes to uh, a game. And I can't stop looking at the cleavage of the, of the game art on the right side of the screen. You know, that's, that's pretty, uh, pretty gratuitous. No complaints. I'm a man of, uh, of class. I see, uh, I see cleavage and I click like. So hopefully you guys click like <laughs> on the cleavage for this video as well. Sometimes maneuvering slow through this stuff is, is actually a little bit more accurate. Let's see, oh, let's see, I freaking got hit. That looks like a big old transformer, by the way. Just look at that. All right, so now we just have the, the middle. Both sides are done. I think I'm gonna get them distinguished. Extinguished, distinguished. Here we go, and I got an achievement for beating the stage two boss. I like when games include achievements like that. It makes it feel a little bit more complete and stuff since the Nintendo Switch doesn't have an achievement or trophy system. I think that's one thing they really drop the ball on every time they make a console with Nintendo. They should have they should have had that for a long time. People want achievements, guys. It adds replayability to lots of games. So here we go, Orgasmic. This stage is called Orgasmic Stage. A lot of sexual undertones in this game. Here we go. Man, look, just look at this right away. Not even... Not even playing around, just coming at me with, with lots of freaking bullets straight my way. Not even playing. Oh, I just ran into the dude. Hopefully we can gather up. Let's use this attack a little bit. I think this might take down the bigger enemies a little, a little easier. There we go. Oh, oh. There we go. Oh, son of a gun. This game is a lot harder than it looks, guys. I'll tell you that much. Oh, I collected another, another achievement. I'm trying to save my bombs, but it is pretty close tight quarters, so I might have to take advantage of them while I have them. At least for oh my gosh, big flying things comes out in the middle of the stage. Oh, there we go. I think that was my final game over. Oh no, we got one more. All right, sweet. As Keith, the joking gamer, would say. Duck just coming all over. I got another another achievement. I love that. It's just so satisfying to see achievements glide in like that. I don't, know why. I don't have the most trophies on my PS4, but when I get them, it's such an accomplishment. It feels, it really feels like something is well done. I just like. It. Coming across. Oh man. That's it. No, wait, I got two more. Wow. Two more lives. Jeez. Look at this, guys. Holy moly. 
It does control really good though, I will say that. The game is, it feels very good, it feels solid. So, very well put together game, I must say. One of the better shoot 'em ups. All right, here we go, boss fight. Let's see if I can last, I got two lives, no bombs. Big Jet, is this Skyce Cream from fucking Transformers or what? Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, Jesus. My bomb. Shoota! Shoota. Alright, let's see my, my navigational skills. At... <laughs> Alright, so anyways. Not a bad game at all. I'm actually, I'm actually digging it, guys. So this was a um, pretty good game. I like it. I dig it. Um, Ultra... Ultra Ghost Blade. What, where did I get Ultra Guard from? It's Ghost Blade HD. I'm so sorry. I didn't even know the name of the game. But Ghost Blade HD. Pretty neat. I dig it. I think it's worth checking out. You might be interested in it. Came out quite a while ago, like I said. But if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to click like. Or if you hated it, dislike it. Comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you on the next video, guys. Have a great day and peace out.